everybody, and thank you very much for joining us uh, for our virtual port talk. Tomorrow it's a sailing day, and tomorrow the entire day will be in one of the most beautiful, if not the most beautiful area of the Lower Danube, the Iron Gate. Uh, in the last seven years, so many times I've been asked when we will pass, what time will pass the Iron Gate. Iron Gate is not necessarily a point, it's an entire stretch, 83 miles, 134 kilometers, um, a gorge created uh, by the Danube when fighting with two big, strong mountains in South uh, East Europe. Uh, and I'm talking about Carpathian on the Romanian side and the Balkans on the Serbian side. By the way, sailing downstream, you will always have tomorrow Serbia on the right-hand side and Romania on the left-hand side. But that makes everything a little bit more complicated. Tomorrow we'll be sailing the entire day between Serbia and Romania. Serbia has uh, Central European time, Romania has Eastern European time, which is one hour ahead Serbia. So if uh, Viking Leaf is getting closer to the Serbian bank, your mobile phone will pick up the signal for, uh, from Serbia and will show you Central European time. But if you are moving uh, next to the Romanian bank, your mobile phone will pick up the signal from Romania, which is Eastern European time, which means one hour ahead. Quite confusing, you'll have the feeling that you are in a time loop, but the best thing to do tomorrow is just to follow the ship time. The must-have photo tomorrow is this gentleman, the last Dacian king, King Decebalus. Uh, the statue will be located on the Romanian bank of the river, uh, and as we are sailing downstream, that means on the left-hand side, but no worries. 10-15 minutes before we reach that point, I will make an announcement to give you enough time to run with your uh, cameras uh, on the sand deck to take the perfect photo and listen to the very interesting story behind this statue. The monument to Deceba Rex is unique because of its size, 43 meters tall and 25 meters wide. In fact, it stands 8 meters taller than the statue of the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro and only 6 meters less than the Lady of Liberty in New York. The Romanian businessman Iosif Constantin Dragan bought the rock in 1985, choosing this part of the mountain rising to 128 meters above the level of uh, the river. However, work only started eight years later, in 1993. The long saga of the making of the sculpture representing the head of King Decebal, carved in the limestone with marble inserts, continued for 10 long years. Work uh, took place between March and October every year in two shifts, six hours each. Each day, the rock climbers had to climb from the rock base to the top, a risky and difficult operation lasting as long as half an hour. During the 10 years of work, 20,000 holes were made, more than 20,000 meters of fuse, and actually 6,000 cubic meters of rock were removed. Finally, the sculpture was finished in 2000, when the inscription at the bottom of the head was placed. Decebal Rex Dragan Fecit, King Decebalus, made by Dragan. Let me tell you uh, something funny about uh, this uh, sculpture, something that you will see tomorrow with your own eyes. Just look at uh, this photo. You can see that the nose and the upper lip, they have a different texture and a different color. It's an explanation for that. In the moment when the statue, the sculpture was almost ready, massive cracks started to appear in uh, the nose and the upper lip. And uh, the sculpture decided to proceed with the first plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery, in the entire history of architecture and inject it like a filler, inject it some concrete in the nose and in the upper lip. And that's before the Kardashian time.
Tomorrow will be an absolutely fantastic day when you'll have the chance to enjoy these absolutely breathtaking views. Uh, just um, relax on the sand deck and listen to all the stories, all the history, all the legends, which marks every kilometer of uh, this, uh, this sailing because the Iron Gate is absolutely breathtaking and you'll have the chance tomorrow to enjoy an entire day on the sand deck and I bet you'll get some uh, ice cream and some cool cocktails too. By the way, tomorrow you can take a photo of uh, a unique uh, place in the world. You cannot find that view anywhere else in the world and I'm talking about the Yugoslavian flag, very close to the Iron Gates Dam on the Serbian side, which will be on the right hand side, you'll have the chance to see and to take a photo of, here it is, uh, of the Yugoslavian flag. Uh, it's the Serbian flag, but with the red communist star in the middle. Nowhere else in the world, the flag of Yugoslavia, a country which doesn't exist anymore from a geographical, economical or political point of view, uh, exists. Enjoy tomorrow. Iron Gates, it's the highlight of your trip. My favorite optional tour tomorrow is uh, a trip on the Serbian side to discover the remains of one of the oldest civilization in this part of Europe, actually older than Mesopotamian civilization, Lepenski Vir. And by the way, no worries that you'll miss anything if you choose one of our optional tours. Indeed, we'll be sailing, but we'll be waiting for you in a small village on the Serbian side, Don Milanovac, and everything that can be labeled spectacular highlights will be after you return back on board tomorrow in the Iron Gates. You'll have the chance to see the biggest uh, dam on the entire Danube, uh, the Iron Gates one, uh, and I'm sure that we will have to get an absolutely fabulous day. That's enough for today. Thank you very much for joining me for our um, virtual port talk. I will see you tomorrow and don't forget, keep dreaming, keep cruising, we will be back.